today is going to be a real thing. And you know why? Because today's segment is called Flush Them. I'm getting so many emails, hundreds and hundreds of emails about Auntie Jillian, what can I do about negative people in my life? What can I do about people that criticize? So today we are going to flush negative people, criticizers, users, people that think they can benefit from you and then just come out of your life whenever they get what they want. How about those dream crashers? We're gonna flush them. And then there's a special place for haters. So you know those negative people? They come like this, flat line. This is the negative sign. You know, there's no way they're gonna ever turn to this positive. Never, because that's just the kind of person they are. They spew negativity. Anything that you go to do, they have a negative comment to make or they have a negative statement. They have just negativity. They come into the room and you feel this vibe of negativity. Those people, we're going to flush right out of our life. How about those ones that criticize? These are the ones that come into your life and all they have to do is criticize or criticize what you're wearing. They criticize what you're driving. They, they want to steal your shine. I mean, you ever get a promotion at work and then somebody will say, I got that promotion last week. All right, can't you just let the person shine in their own glory? You in school, you got an 85 on a test. I mean, this isn't like you to get an 85. So you just telling everybody, oh gosh, I'm just so pleased and happy with my mark. I got an 85. And then you have Joe Blow and Mary Sue coming from behind you and they're saying, 85? Oh gosh, well I got a 95 girl or I got a 98. All right, congratulations to you. Let the person with the 85 just being on his personal best as a mark. Let that person shine now. And we also going to flush those people that think that they're better than everybody else. I was at the gas station the other day and I saw three hotties, three hot girls, you know, they looked like they were going out somewhere. They had on their little dresses and their high heels. And I heard enough of the conversation to want to just flush them. They were talking about the gas attendant. They were saying, oh, she's just a gas attendant. She just worked at the gas station and just criticizing the woman, you know, from up to down, they were criticizing this woman. And I just have to tell all of this. You know that little gas attendant that you criticize? And her son, they own the gas station. So to the Mustang that you were driving, they can buy seven Mustangs for every day of the week in any color they want. So don't ever think that you're better than anybody else because you don't know their story. And then you have those users and those ones that come into your life because they know that you're a little bit soft and that you will give them whatever you can to see them happy. But as soon as they're happy and they've taken all that they have from within side of you and maybe your money too, they're gone. You seeing them again? Nope. Not until the next time that they need something and then they come back into your life. Listen, we are going to flush those users. And what about those people that think that they can crash your dream? Oh Lord, well I can't take people like this, all you. You see dream crashers? I don't like when someone comes up with a good idea in their mind, it might be a good idea, but maybe you're listening to it and you're thinking, mm, it's not so, so much of a good idea, but that person is gun ho about something. And then you have the person coming in and saying, well, that ain't gonna work. 10 people might like what it is that you're doing for your dream to come true and like your idea. It only takes out one dream crasher and that dream crasher, He's just rounded up with the negative people too and the criticizers. So we flush in them. And you know who we aren't even going to flush because the toilet is too good for them? The haters. And let me tell you, we all have them. And my best saying deep down inside of me, and I really believe it, is that haters could only make you greater. And if you have a strong mind and you believe that, it really is true. So for all the haters out there that you have, that I have, that all of us may have, we're going to put them in a potty. 
not even a toilet, a latrine. And every time we go to crap, we ain't going to flush it because the next person's gonna come in and crap on top of what we crapped on. And all of them haters are gonna spew in their own sh Oh God, oh gosh, Auntie Jillian. <laughs> all you have me going off. All right. <laughs> But it's true, you see those haters? They can only make you greater, but they're too good to flush. So if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, are you guys subscribing? I see that you are, and I thank you so much. And don't forget, it will always be a real thing here with Auntie Jillian. And leave your comments below. Let me know what kind of person you want to flush. Because I'm sure I missed a whole heap. Mm -hmm.